you got to understand too, for, for Margaret, I mean, she comes by this honestly, right? I mean, in, in her family, you know, being a Republican is a religion. <laughs> I mean, when she had stuff break in her house, you know, her, her dad would say, it's gone Democrat on us. Yeah, I mean, that's how much we hated Democrats. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the fact that I, you know, I'm, I'm coming from outside the tribe, I mean, was really like, whoa, hold on now. So, okay, did you think ever that this might ruin the relationship? So, uh, yeah, there's one epic, epic, epic moment that uh, we look back on. It, it's the height of the 2008 campaign, and we're both, you know, look, we're in politics and we're in media, we care a lot about this stuff, and we debated a lot, we still do. Um, but we had this big blowout one Sunday afternoon about Sarah Palin, um, that, you know, that this yeah. person cannot be one heartbeat away from the presidency. And the fact that I, I might not be on, on Team Palin was a big problem for, for Margaret. I, well, I just, I think for me, I didn't realize, because I had come from this place where, where it really was a religion, that, I could marry somebody, and we were about to be engaged. I mean, I didn't know he was gonna propose to me. I didn't know I could marry somebody that if we voted for different political parties. Because this, I know it sounds crazy in hindsight. I yeah, gotta be honest. You could lose I can't believe this I was that person. Over Sarah Palin. It's right. Crazy. Oh no. <laughs> here, here is a woman, listen to me. Here's a woman who said she understands foreign policy because she can see Russia, Russia from her backyard. <laughs> No. Hell, I can see the moon from my backyard. <laughs> that don't make me no damn astronaut. You're right. It's really...